Now, what's your name? Cleotra Tanner. Cleotra Tanner. Right. Okay. And uh, what did you see uh, when you had your sighting of, of the goat killer or whatever it was? Okay. Uh, my wife and I was in the bed. It was around around eight <coughs> thirty. And the dogs, in fact, we don't have a dog, single dog in all of them gone, but we had, uh, we had eight puppies and two grown dogs. And they were keeping us so much noise, my wife got up and went to the window uh, uh, on the west side of the house, in the bedroom. And she got, when she, she looked at me, she said, uh, what is this? She said, come look, I don't, I, I don't know what these are. What, what this is, brother. So, uh, I'm thinking it's some kind of big old coon or something, so I eventually get up and go look, and I never saw anything like that before. Um, it was one big animal, I guess he was about ways high to me. Okay. And uh, he was probably in length, I would say, I'm getting a ballpark about five feet in length. In length, okay. In length. His, his lower paw was down, his front paw was down, he had a rainbow tight back, but they never held their head up above, this high above the ground. And yeah, we, you, you mean a, a rainbow, you mean color wise or? No, no, I'm talking about the, the shape, shape, the body shape. shape yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, they never held their head up. And even when the dog get that close to them, they would chase the dog for a few steps, but they never held their head up. So in a few minutes later, another one came out the weeds. And uh, they were, both of them were slick skinned, very slick skinned. And they had a brown, what I would call a brown patch on their right shoulder. And we stood there about 10 minutes maybe looking out the window. Then something, you know, I finally, <coughs> I finally realized my gun was right beside me. So by the time I got my gun and got out the back, they had went back in the weeds. And to show you how well we saw, there's a, a high density uh, a street light in my backyard. Uh -huh. They were between the light and the house. So we got a good look at whatever it was. A very good look. Now, would you, were they on all fours or were they? It was on all fours. All fours, okay. Mm -hmm. well, did they have uh, the appearance of a canine or, or a, like a dog or did they have the appearance of something else? Something, I, I wouldn't call it a dog. Not a dog. I would, I would not call it a dog. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a bear. It wasn't a deer. As some people say, it wasn't a mangy coyote. As some people have said, uh, and it wasn't a dog. <coughs> it was much bigger than any dog I ever seen. I never saw a dog with a a rainbow shaped back. You know, with uh, the, uh, an arch, arch right? Back. The arch, arch back. Yeah. And uh, I never saw a dog that would hold it, that held his head that low to the ground. That never looked up. Uh. Well, how much would you say it weighed, just your guess? Wow. If I had to guess, it weighed over 200 pounds. Over 200, that's pretty big. Over 200 pounds. But the, but, but the other part about it is that back, the body shape wasn't, wasn't, wasn't about this wide. It wasn't a huge, fat animal. It was, a, it was thin. It was a thin type animal. Did it have a tail? I did not see a tail. Okay. I didn't. I did not. I, I'm not saying it didn't have one. I didn't see one because I, I was sort of shocked at seeing what I was seeing. I, the neck was about longer than average anything you've ever seen, and the head was sort of long too. Did it have ears that you could see? I did not see an ear. That's strange. <laughs> I did not. And we was and I, it, it probably had. I'm not sure, but I mean I was just amazed at this animal. This hairless animal with this brown spot on it, the way he was made, and when he would attempt to go, when the dog would get like two feet of him, he would take about three steps towards the dog and the dog would run. And we were standing out trying to figure out what are these things. We never saw this before. And I'm 64 years old. I never saw this on a movie. Well, do you think that's the same thing that got your goats? I ain't think. Man. Now, did you see any tracks out there later on? You go out and look for tracks? I called I call the police department, the sheriff's department. They came out that, it was on Friday night. <coughs> they came out that Saturday morning. <coughs> we went back there. And 
we saw split hoop tracks that seem to have claws in them. But you know, maybe deals have been walking around, they were still in the same track. I don't know. But, but they seem to have claws. They seem to have claws. Huh? Yeah. That's a that's what I'd call a cryptid. You ever heard that word cryptid? Oh, that's cryptid. definitely a cryptid. A cryptid is a, a, any animal that has not been duly discovered. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been documented. A, a hidden animal is what crypto means. A cryptid animal okay. would be an animal that's hidden. Uh, people see them occasionally here and there, but nobody's ever gotten good enough footage or good enough proof that they could put it in a textbook. But now my neighbor, she lived down the street. She, she, she well, actually, she lived in Jackson, by this house with a renovator. And she stayed here on weekend, and she called me uh, Saturday night. She got a boy, her granddaughter went to, to, to Walmart. And when she got back home, she called me. She said she had just saw one of, uh, a little way from her house that went back in, back on the bow side. Okay, now that you're you're looking back toward a creek back that right, way, right? right? So do you think probably that creek is what they were traveling? I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure that creek is what they were traveling. Uh, what's the name of that creek? Uh, Jackson Bayou. Jackson Bayou. Okay, mm -hmm. and does it go into the river anywhere? Or? Well, it get down here and spill up and go around and spill up and go to the moat plant and go toward that so. Uh huh. And back this way, it runs into Sky Lake. Uh, Sky Lake. That's a big lake. It's a, it's a Sky Lake? Sky Lake, uh -huh. Oh, that's interesting. It runs mm -hmm. around to Sky Lake. Sky Lake. Sky Lake. We've, that, we've actually had some occurrences up at Sky Lake. Really? Yeah, sure have. Okay. I could show you some pictures. I didn't bring them with me, though. But, uh, we're, we're, you know, it's pretty strange going on up in that area. Okay. Yeah. We are only about three miles, maybe, from Sky Lake. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was, uh, I'm interested in Indian mounds, and I was going to an Indian mound up there. Uh, they call it Inverness Mound, but it's actually closer to Iso. Right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big old mound. You have to cross a field about a mile yeah. and a half mm -hmm. to get to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And on the way over there, I was making my way along the lake. I got to that lake. Something hollered at me. Uh, it was... It sounded like an eagle scream, you know, like an eagle scream, but it was way too long for to be a bird. You know, it was. Okay. It had a lot of lungs behind it, and and when I heard this had happened, that kind of came to mind. You know, because uh, when I went down there and took video of the mound, and I was walking back, there was a polecat laying there in the road where I had just been, with his guts hanging out. Hmm. And something had killed this thing while I was after I walked by, right. and had killed him so fast that he hadn't sprayed. Wow. You know, his guts were hanging out. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd always kind of stayed with me there. You know, I and mean, when I heard this had gone on, I said, "Well, maybe, you know, maybe there's something that follows these creeks. You know, creeks and Sorry, lakes. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's 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 kind of a." an edgy thing to know that something like that's out there, you know, uh, that will tear your goats and your hogs up. And if you would, if you saw it, you would never forget it. And well, you know, I, I, I get pretty sick and tired of people telling me what we didn't see. And I'm not trying to, uh, to convince I anybody of what I saw, but I, I know what I saw. Well, let me ask you this. If you go every day and get in your car. You drive to town or drive here and there. You trust your eyes, don't you? Right. Mm -hmm. Your eyes tell you when to go out into the highway and when not to. Right. And ev everything's based upon what your eyes tell. Why stop? Because you saw something unusual. Uh, I, you know, it's the that. same eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you saw something strange but you can't identify, and that's just the bottom Not line. Not for a while, while, before the dogs left, and like I said, all the dogs go, uh, before the dogs left, every time they walked, she would jump up and she would jump up and run to the window. Let me get over, uh, turn the camera over here to, to Dennis, and let me get a statement from him. Let me get it set right. All right, now tell me what you found 
Well, t- just tell me at the beginning about your hogs. And that's been how long ago? One year ago. One year ago, yeah, about this time hogs. of year. Yep, so 18 hogs. 18 hogs. Yeah. That's a big loss for you, isn't it? Yep. Cut all them head off. Gut them. Took the gut and blood. They eat no meat. So the guts were gone, the heads were gone. The head was there. The they head was there. It. They pulled the head. But the head was just removed. All the way off. All the way off. Well, nothing hanging on. Decapitated. All the way. And you, uh, you, you didn't find a lot of blood. Well, no blood. No blood. No blood. They, they cut them over, suck all the guts, everything out of it. And, and, uh, and then it, you didn't have any more problems until this year. This year. And uh, tell us about the problems you had this year. Three holes. Head cut off, good gone. No blood. Then with my goat pen, all of them head cut off. How many? Nine. Nine goats. Nine goats. Cut off, all the good gone, no blood. But were you raising the goats like to sell or were yeah. you, you just I was raising them? Raising them, okay. Yep. So it, it's nine. a financial impact on you. Yep. Lost yep. there one of them. He left one, he cut the throat, and he was still living, but the next day he died. And uh, it made all the horses jump out of the pen. Now, how many horses did you have in there? Four. Four, and they jumped out of the pen. They jumped them out of there. Now, I've got some video on my, cam- on my phone that shows the height of that fence. Uh, mm-hmm. They were pretty desperate to, to want to get out of there. They, they, didn't, they, they hadn't jumped it before, had they? No. No, okay. They never jumped it. They, 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 they have no idea of jumping that pin, but they jumped it that time. Well, um, it, do, do you, are you interested in getting, getting some cameras up, maybe? Yeah. I need to find somebody to put some cameras up. I need cameras everywhere. Camera can't stop them, but it might help you to find out what it is for sure. I need to find out where it is. Then uh, this year I hit I hit one of them in my truck up the road. I hit a real hard. I thought I had to keep me a deal. So I got out and looked. That scoundrel got up and jumped, jumped straight up. Hit them weeds. I ain't seen him. Gone. Did it run off on all fours? No, it was on two. On two legs. Yeah. He jumped. Yeah. So I thought I had it. What 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 can you tell me about the did you that you saw of him? Did you see the face well, or I just seen his, his teeth when he got up I seen the teeth and when he jumped. How would you describe his teeth? They were long sharp. Long they were sharp. sharp. In the in the I jump. seen his mouth and stuff. Yeah. He didn't holler now. Did, yeah, I that's what I thought I had to keep me a deal. He didn't make any noise. He, no, no noise. Well, you know, that's the strange thing about uh, out there. If my dogs were barking and they chased dogs, they never and, made a sound. And, and that thing made no sound. It didn't make a sound. Well, I hit it. Now, was, it, was it. this one? There was this one bare skinned too? Yeah, but Nick had no skin on it. No skin on it. And I hit it hard. It looked like it should be some blood somewhere. So it was, it was slick skinned. Yeah, uh, could you? you uh, no, it was night, but did could you see it well enough to tell what exactly what color the skin was? All I know is just like got the mane. Yeah, it's like brown, like brown looking, brown looking skin. Did it look crusty, like a you know mange? You get kind of crusty. Yeah, but it looked like I should have knocked some blood or someone loose. Hard out here because I'm running around about forty-five miles an hour. Yeah, that is odd. I hit it real hard. I hit it hard enough. For him to lay down for a long time, he didn't lay down. He jumps up on two legs, on two legs, on weed. and and he hops. Yep. No, he don't run like bop bop bop. No, he hops. I ain't seen him run. He just hop when he hop. He got no weed. It's kind of gone. That was in it. They, they don't run fast because when they chase the dog, they bad move, bad move. I know he just don't no weed. They have any trouble getting away from him. So evidently, they yeah. don't run fast. Well, you know, uh, uh, years ago, this this happened 
quite a few years ago. I was in Louisiana, and I saw they were it was it was on a Bigfoot hunt, mm -hmm. and somebody shot at one of the Bigfoot way down in the creek bottoms, and I was up at the camp, and they hollered for me to bring more lights. So I was bringing lights down there, and something ran across in front of my truck, no no further than about 15 feet. I mean, right there, it's tall grass, but it was it was similar as what you described. Uh, it uh, it was no match found for it. It had a it had an arch back, uh, no tail, uh, funny looking ears, kind of oval shaped head, uh, and I'm convinced that it was it was running real low keeping a real low profile, mm -hmm. but I'm convinced that it was running as a result of that shot. You know, that it was frightened and it was moving on out of the area fast. Uh, but I don't know, you know, it certainly wasn't a Bigfoot like you would describe, mm -hmm. like the mo like the right. little film shows, you know, that they show on TV. It, it, was, it was something that could get on all fours, but it had long back feet. And you could... You could see that it could stand up. Oh, you seen it, that? Yeah. You know, I I believe from from from, from we did get a look at the back. Feet. I believe not. And, and again, this is me. Not I'm putting my twist on it now. Uh -huh. I believe they can't stand on that back feet. Now that that's based upon what? On um, what I saw the way the way the, how long their feet are, and just the muscles they could be called the ones that we saw seem to be pretty much pure muscle. Yeah. You saw a lot of muscles on it. A lot of that's that's all you you see peeled muscles. Yeah, yeah. Now, did, did did it, did it shake you up? Did it scare you? It's hair raising. I, I put yeah. it that way. It's hair raising. And my wife's still scared. Yeah, it's, it well, it's kind of weird to see something like that. Yeah, it is. But uh, let me uh, let me stop things just a minute. This battery's about to go out. Let me get a battery out of here. What well, do y'all have dogs to hunt stuff like that? Here we go. And uh, hey, uh, he let us know if they come around. That's for sure. But, but just just, just make for you, uh, for you, for you, turn it back on. Okay. Please, areas, huh? come in. They have a high yeah. density, high density street light in, in our backyard. And like I said, he they were between the light and the house. It's not like they were behind the light. Yeah. They were between the light and the house. They're not scared. I can put it that way. They're not scared. Th that's that seems kind of you know. I, I, odd that something would be that bold yet people don't see them you know they're rare mm -hmm. uh, but apparently they're not that rare around here because you saw them and he saw them y'all yeah. he lost animals to them second time yes yeah, two times and then he struck one so uh what do, what do they have here in the way of cover uh Besides the creeks, I mean, do they have uh, any tree forests? Any any oh, large great blocks of trees? Right across the the, the, the field over there is a, it's a large it's a large uh, yeah. block of woods. Back over over that way. But he got to be traveling behind his house to go get to my house. He yeah, got to be and, traveling and, that way. Know, the further you go back this way around that way. It, it's really, really thick, and it's, it's some yeah. woods out there. Yeah, packed right in there. Yeah. So, uh, and then, you know, a lot of people be hunting out here. They'll never run them up. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what, what I was talking about. about. They, you know, like, they have their hunt dogs mm -hmm. out there, and they'll never run them up. But like, they should, somebody should be able to see them again. It's like, it, uh, yeah, you, you would think, but, you know, they didn't take any meat off the animals. They just took the guts. Well, guts you know, and, guts and blue. The, well, the the guts like liver is soft, easy to eat, full full of nutrition. So is the kidneys, the heart. You know, even the eyes. The eyes mm -hmm. are full of nutrition. That you don't have. They don't have to tear at it. You know, to get all that out, just open the guts right. up. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a. Uh, so they but probably look as similar to somebody. Stealing watermelons and eating them in the field. Eating the building. You know, you just go for that heart yeah, yeah. And, and bust another one. You know, uh, that's that's my guess. But uh, sometime whenever whenever things dry out a little bit, and if you don't have any more incidents, uh, I'll bring some game cams out if you like. Put out 
uh, you, you you don't have any animals except for your horses, and you got some hogs, don't you? Yeah. We'll put one on the hog pen. I would like for you to put one back here, because I yeah. believe you're traveling along this, that creek. This, yeah. This creek yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I will. I will do that. Uh, we'll we'll see if we can't you know get something uh, in the way of evidence. And we you know that. Man, shoot. <laughs> it's 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 tough on a person to to have a story to tell like that, and then he doesn't have any way of 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 conveying that imagery. You know the cuts were they like a scalpel or were they like something ripped it out? They're like a knife. No scars or nothing. Ain't never been no scars. That's what I don't understand. How can you cut it off a whole head? I don't know the answer to that. He told me they, they cut them. Don't need no. Now scissors. you said that y'all y'all did have some pictures. Yeah, I had some pictures last year, and then you know got some pictures on my wife's phone, my grandkids' phone, or uh, some of it. But I I throw them hauls away. Well, if you if you come across them on the phone, you got my phone number. Uh, just text me one or two of them. Let me look at. It. I'd like to see. What they look like. This is, this is, this is, uh, let me see that I still have. Um, okay. uh, well, would you care if I walked my dog used the bathroom? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is a picture that someone, a, a, a hunter took on a, a, a swamp, a panel swamp, yeah, panel swamp. And they text me this picture and ask me what I saw that it looked similar to that. Oh, look at that. I don't see that. Well, did, does it look similar? It looks it looks similar. When you look at the neck and the and the and the and the, and the head of it, uh -huh. it looks very similar. Let me you mind if I Go ahead. record it? Go ahead. Would you do me a favor? Will you text this to my phone if no, I no give problem. you my number? No I, I would love to have this picture. This is Panther Swamp. Mm -hmm. That's you know, there's something you want to. Then mm -hmm. there's something a picture with the thing dead on them. We, they saw, they, saw what, what's picture. your number? Uh, 662-590-3876. Wow. That's See, something unusual. Yeah. Wow. Now, and believe it or not, the game warden that came out from Madison to to talk with Dennis and I told us what what this is is a picture of a mangy coyote, and yeah. that's that's the first thing from the truth. That's not the impression I'm getting. Mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't ever seen nothing like that. I don't think they want to fool with them. Well, I mean, that's why I think I think they looking at something they they can't believe. Now, they well, want I also I also have a, a a news clip that chunk twelve. This they used to teach young twelve in uh a hundred in Lena, Mississippi. That's a new clip off of channel twelve that the lady the lady sent to me. Now where's Lena at? It's it's out here in the Delta, isn't it? I have no idea. Okay. Lena is um isn't that out twenty five? Lena, Hairless creature was killed in Pigtown, a community in Lena, Mississippi. I think Lena's not far from Clarksdale. I believe it is up that yeah. way. Uh, armed with a twenty-two, when he saw he was coon hunting when he saw something with glowing red eyes in the hay. The beast moved to attack. That's what it said. <laughs> I wouldn't want nothing like that attacking did, did me. Did y'all send me a picture of uh, one of them things? Uh, didn't you send me a picture? And somebody had kept in Yankee City. No, no uh, Simpson County. This a man from Simpson County sent me a picture on my wife's phone. And uh, he had killed one of them, had him laid out. It, you y'all didn't do that, did you? No, no, it wasn't us. Well, she got no. it, she got in her phone. This past Monday, I was at the sheriff's office, and he was briefing his deputies and his staff on these very things. And uh, he said he told them that they are real, they possibly are dangerous to humans. I guess he had talked to people throughout the state. He said that they're all over the state. Lena's just south of Carthage. Okay, okay. 
Well, I don't know why I was thinking Clarksdale, but thank you. Um, oh my gosh. Now, a fellow told me that there was a man who had a wolf, half wolf, half uh, German Shepherd. And that, was it you told me that story? Did you tell me that story? Yeah, that's what they were telling me. Yeah, right. And it got away near Pickens, right? Yeah. And it bred with coyotes. You know, so I, I, won't, I wouldn't venture to say what's possible. That's right. You know, all kinds of things are possible. Yeah, one guy told me it wasn't the, the game one told me it said ain't nothing but a German Shepherd and a, a hound dog mixed up together. <laughs> I don't know. I said, no, I don't you know. know they, they be doing that just throw you off so you won't be thinking. I know, I know this from what I oh, saw. They don't know. It's not a German Shepherd. I know they It's not a that. hound dog. It ain't none of that. I, I know it ain't. Now, I know what it wasn't. I don't know what it was, but I know what it was. You know, Karen and I read some reports of people seeing hyenas. They called. They thought they were seeing hyenas. That's what my wife said when she was. She said, "These are hyenas, baby. We don't have hyenas." She said, "Come, come look. These are hyenas." But no, it wasn't hyenas either. There, there's, there's. Uh, oh my God! I can't think of the name of it. But one was killed in Montana, way back when, and it disappeared for a while. They had it mounted. And it disappeared, and it resurfaced in a in Pocatello, Idaho, in a museum. And, and it similar looking. Uh, it was killing a man's farm animals, and he shot it and killed it. That's Look at the size of the feet. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. It, 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 I was because when you said what you said, I, I, the, the feet looked longer. I guess I left my phone outside. And the head, I said that to you already. The head okay. looks funny. The, he, the head, is, the head is is sort of straight and sort of narrow. But look at the, look at the length of the neck. Uh -huh. But whatever it is, I we my wife and I got a close up look at look at it. Ah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Man, we, we can trap in some kind of way. Something can go on. I, I just thought, that's what you seen back then. That's pretty close to what I seen. You know, that that neck is almost as long as a deer's neck. So, it is. Yeah. It is, uh-huh. So, you know, uh, it's thick and it's solid. What happens to a person if he's hunting out in those woods by himself and comes across, say, two of these things? It, it may not be good. It may not be good for him. It may him. not be good. Because see, in, in Panther Swamp, a man disappeared. Way back when, I was, a, I, was, I was a teenager. I was duck hunting out that there and that day and he disappeared. They, 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 they couldn't find, they, they took dogs from Parchman and tried to find him. They, they never found him. They are big enough to take you where they want to take you. Yeah. Trust me. You know, I can guarantee you that the biggest one was about this high to me. And the uh, the small the other the other one that came out he was a little bit short he wasn't quite as tall. Now, as how, how tall are you? I am six feet. Six feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll try. When you stand and look at some five to ten minutes, you get a good look. Yeah. And it wasn't in the shadows. That's uh. That's that's strange right there, man. I just mm -hmm. knew for sure that this was going to be a Bigfoot day. Yeah, well, maybe not. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. But you have to you have to go where where it, the evidence points you mm -hmm. to. That is. We will have to put some camera or something out there, tracking car. They don't let you close them on. Well, let me tell you something. If you were a game warden or or a law enforcement, now you you're talking about you put them in kind of a a little bit of a bind, you know, because they're the people responsible for protecting the neighborhoods, <laughs> and, and they're the people responsible for knowing what all's out there, and uh, and and they get real nervous when there's something going on that they don't know. Can't they, they don't can't, want to do it. I, 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 I can tell you when I was at the sheriff's office Monday, and he was going over with his with his people. People had pulled uh, pictures of of. Uh, Chupacabra. Yeah, Chupacabra. Chupacabra. 
And uh, when they were passing that picture around, they had pulled up there. And when they were passing that around, uh, the chief deputy, Demetrius, said, when he saw it, he said, I saw one of those. And it was on the back side of ISO. No, it wasn't the back side. It was on, on uh, 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 Washington Street in ISO. That's inside the city limits. Oh, he saw it in the, inside the city limits. Inside the city limits. Uh-huh. Well, that's where they were going to hang out. This bayou, this bayou also turns and go back around to that go, lake, go, Dawson go. Lake. Which yeah. This bayou is, when you get to Isola, this hey. bayou is on one side of that street. Well, you know Dawson Lake was where the thing screamed at me. Well, okay, Dawson Lake is right <laughs> there. This, this bayou actually runs back to Dawson Lake. Right, it goes to Dawson Lake. Hey. Dawson Lake is less than a mile. In fact, Dawson Lake is less than a half mile from Isola. Let me, let me tell you what, it screamed at me. <laughs> you know, I didn't know whether to run back to my car or run on. Well, you know, right, because right, the mound right across up on Dawson Lake. Right, right. Sure will live. The mound mm-hmm. in front, mm-hmm. right across. What, what they call it the mound. That's, that's the name of the area up there. They yeah. call it the mound. And, and Dawson Lake, it go right down uh-huh. the side. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it's amazing, you know, you start to connect some dots there and you realize that these river systems and creeks, and they all interconnect. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're nothing but highways That's something right. for something right. to travel. Right. The mm-hmm. covers there. Yeah, and, uh, so right. Y'all heard any noises? Any screams or noises? No, we haven't. We haven't heard anything. But I know why. Why we had our dogs up here. This and was I, this was uh, a screech. And, and I don't know what happened. Did this my dog down to your house? I don't know. I know it was kicked off on cat. Whatever that thing was, we had about twenty or thirty cats. I don't see no one by yeah, five of them now. Yeah, all your cats gone. But yeah, they gone. We had two grown dogs and eight puppies, and we <laughs> hadn't saw one. We hadn't saw them in about three days. Hey, they don't even come to eat. Do I? Unlock your oh, it's it's locked. Oh. Sorry, I did that out of habit. I'm gonna let him use the bathroom. Go ahead. It's it's unlocked. Look around. I don't know. It's raining right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well we're gonna we're gonna uh just go ahead and pack it in for the day. If if you don't mind, I would like to fly a drone up high and look at the land, you know, the creeks uh and get a little bit of a view of it. If it ain't raining, if it's raining I can't do it. I don't think it rains that cold. Yeah, it'll rain. I see water coming off the roof, but that may be I think that, that, that ice sleeping on the roof. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, well, we appreciate you. Hey, we, we appreciate, appreciate you stopping yeah. by. We appreciate At least everybody you. don't think we're crazy. We're going to stay in touch, right? Yeah. And you got my phone number. I got your phone number. Uh, so if you, anything else happens, call mm-hmm. me. I'll be here, Johnny, on the spot. Okay. And uh, when it dries up a little bit where it's not so muddy, we're going to get some game cams and stuff out here. Let me put my jacket on. I want to walk and show you just how close they was to the house. Sure, sure. Let's do that.